Hi everyone, my name's Kerry and I attend the church in Burger Street in Parkhead. Um, it's really good to be with you this morning online. Um, we've been talking this week about spiritual disciplines and I'm just going to look a wee bit at my experience of learning about God's Word as part of a small group. I've been part of a small group for over 15 years now and in my current group for more than 10. Um, I remember going to my very first group and I was really worried. I was quite young at the time, I was just a student and I was thinking, what can I possibly contribute to a Bible study? Um, surely I'm going to get shown up for my lack of knowledge, for um, yeah, my lack of insight and be embarrassed by these people in the group who are so much wiser and better than me. But I think this is a wonderful thing about small groups and why they're so important because being part of a group of trusted friends gives you a safe space to make mistakes, to get it wrong to air an opinion and not be laughed at. Sometimes it's talking about a particular passage and actually realising that you know that you, you find it difficult and that you're not the only one. Other people feel the same way. I've been to a lot of Bible studies since then and I feel as though I'm still learning. Sometimes a passage I thought I knew inside out can suddenly reveal itself in a new and completely unexpected way. And that's amazing. It quite often meets a particular need at a particular time and it's why a lot of people describe God's word as, as being alive. Sometimes that can happen when you're reading on your own but more often than not it happens when you're reflecting on passages from the Bible with a group of other Christians and hearing the thoughts and reflections of them. They're bringing different viewpoints, different life experiences and that can just add a whole new dimension to what you're, you're hearing. In our small group during lockdown, we've been looking, or kind of going back to basics and looking again at what it means to do life as part of a community. Um, there are lots of different ways to study the Bible. At the minute we're using an app, um, a Bible app on our phones. And one of last week's verses was from um, Proverbs 27, verse 17. And it says, as steel sharpens steel, so one friend sharpens another. Sometimes when we talk about people being a bit sharp, um, or a comment being a bit sharp, it's not always a compliment, so this verse can be a bit confusing. But I like to think of it like a kitchen knife. A blunt knife wouldn't be very effective, it needs to be sharp to do its job effectively, and we're exactly the same. We've been called to make disciples, and during that, to be ready to face challenges, to face troubles with our faith. So how do we do that? And it's by using God's word. It's described in the Bible as the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We can't use it unless we know it and we keep our knowledge of it sharp by studying, reflecting and sharing with other Christians. Our individual study is important but if you're anything like me at times you'll study things and come away more confused than you were beforehand or maybe developing ideas that weren't exactly what God intended from the passage. The safe space for a small group gives us the chance to temper our individual and sometimes limited knowledge and reflections with those of multiple people learning from collective wisdom. I might be showing my age here but I love the song by Casting Crowns um, called The Word Is Alive. There's a spoken section in the middle and it says the Bible was inscribed over a period of 2,000 years in times of war and in days of peace by kings, physicians, tax collectors, farmers, fishermen, singers and shepherds. The marvel is that a library so perfectly cohesive could have been produced by such a diverse crowd over a period of time which staggers the imagination. Jesus is its grand subject, our good is its design, and the glory of God is its end. I just find that amazing. And there was me worried back at the start about what I could possibly contribute, but it's been God's plan from the start to use people from all walks of life and all stages of life as well. That's what our small group can be. And it allows God to show us that his word truly is alive. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us a community of people who can help us in our walk of faith. Help us to learn from others so that we can continue to grow in understanding you and your amazing word. Amen.